Hello friends, in today's class, let's solve some of the numericals based on critical temperature and critical magnetic field. The first question says, for a certain material, the critical magnetic field is 5 into 10 raised to 3 ampere per meter at 6 Kelvin and 2 into 10 raised to 4 ampere per meter at 0 Kelvin and we have to determine its transition temperature. Let's note the given details and the formula. Now we know that the critical magnetic field at 6 Kelvin is this. So this would be Hc at T. This is the temperature which is equal to 6. Now, always remember at times if the temperature is given in degree centigrade, do not forget to convert it into Kelvin because in the formula in solving the numericals, we will be using the formula with Kelvin. This is the critical magnetic field at T is equal to 0. So, I will represent this as Hc of 0. Now, we need to determine its transition temperature which means we have to determine its E C. Now we know that the formula is H C of T is nothing but as H C of 0 into 1 minus T over T C the whole square. Now in this formula and the given details we are given with the values of H C of T we are given the value of T which is equal to 6. We also know that the value of Hc of 0 is 2 into 10 raised to 4. Now the only thing needs to be found which is unknown is Tc. So out of the 4 variables 3 are known and 1 is unknown. So it would be very easy to solve. Let's solve this. Now so first step that we'll take is we'll say Hc of T divides Hc of 0 equals to 1 minus T over Tc the whole square. So bringing this here we can say T by Tc the whole square is equal to 1 minus Hc of T divided by Hc of 0. Now just plug in the values of Hc of T and Hc of 0 to get the value of this ratio. So we'll have T by Tc the whole square is equal to 1 minus for hc of t we'll write 5 into 10 raised to 3 and for hc of 0 we know it is 2 into 10 raised to 4 so 2 into 10 raised to 4 it becomes t by tc the whole square on solving this you'll get the value as 0 0.75 so we can say the value of T by Tc is nothing but as root of 0 0.75. Now we want the value of Tc that is the transition temperature. So the value of Tc would be T divided by root of 75 and that is equal to 6 divided by root of 0 0.75. On solving you will get the value of Tc as 6.928 Kelvin. This is the transition temperature. Now, the only takeaway for these types of numericals is you need to know this formula very well. All the questions will be based on this formula and there is no other way wherein the questions could be complicated. We will be doing more questions to see how the framing of the questions and the variety of questions appears as. Now, let's switch to the next question. This reads as a superconductor has a critical temperature of 3.7 Kelvin. Now remember this is the critical temperature which is denoted as Tc. The best thing about numericals is you can in the question paper you can mark all the given variables with your given data. At zero magnetic field and zero Kelvin critical magnetic field is 0 0.036 Tesla. What is the critical magnetic field at temperature 2 Kelvin? We need to find out Hc of T when T is equal to 2 Kelvin. 
Now, we'll be using the formula. Hc of t is nothing but as Hc of 0 into 1 minus t upon tc the whole square. Now, in this we need to find Hc of t. We are given with Hc of 0. We also know the value of t and we also know the value of tc. So, just plugging in the values and finding the answer. For Hc of 0, I'll use 0 0.0306 into 1 minus the temperature is 2 and the critical temperature is 3.7 the whole square. Now, if you plug in the values in your calculator, you'll be getting the answer as 0 0.0297 Tesla. This is the final answer. Make a note that this question was asked for two marks in a university exams. So which was very easy to solve, a very easy formula to remember and hence it's easy to fetch these two marks as well. Now let's move to the next question. This reads thus, the transition temperature for lead is 7.2 degree Kelvin. However, at 5 Kelvin, it loses its the superconductivity property if subjected to magnetic field of 3.3 .3 into 10 raised to 4 ampere per meter. Find the maximum value of H which will allow the metal to retain its superconductivity at 0 degree Kelvin. Again, we'll be using the same formula which says Hc of T is nothing but as Hc of 0 into 1 minus T over Tc the whole square. Now again in this case we need to find out the value of H which will allow the metal to retain its superconductivity at 0 Kelvin. So basically we have to find H0 or Hc of 0. So this is what we need to find. We are provided with the value of Hc of T, the value of T and Tc, the critical temperature. So we'll be taking all the values that side. So it becomes Hc of T divided by 1 minus T by Tc, the whole square is nothing but as value for Hc of 0. Now let's plug in the values. It becomes 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power 4 divided by 1 minus. Now, let's see. At 5 degree Kelvin, it loses its superconducting property if subjected to a magnetic field of 3.3 .3 into 10 to 4 ampere per meter. So, you can clearly say that this temperature is Tc. But this is the temperature T at which the magnetic field is this. So for T I'll be writing 5 and for Tc I'll be writing 7.2 and this becomes the square and this equals to the value of Hc of 0. The only important mistake that most of the student happen to do is they interchange the value of T and Tc in a hurry. So please avoid that because that minor mistake could lead you to lose your marks. So now just solving this by calculator we will get Hc of 0 equals 3.3 .3 into 10 raised to 4 divided by 1 minus 0 0.482. So Hc of 0 becomes equals to 3.3 .3 into 10 raised to 4 divided by 0 0.518. On solving, you'll get the value of Hc of 0 as 6.37 into 10 raised to 4 ampere per meter. So this is the value that was looking for. Now, let's see the next question. It says the critical field of niobium is 1 into 10 raised to 5 ampere per meter at 8 Kelvin. So we can say this is Hc of T and this is T. 
and 2 into 10 is to 5 at 0 Kelvin. So we have this is HC of T again but here T is equal to 0 Kelvin. So this is nothing but as HC of 0. Now you have to calculate the transition temperature of the element. Calculating transition temperature is nothing but as calculating the value for Tc. Now again it is the same question as we did for the first but with different values. Using the formula Hc of T is nothing but as Hc of 0 times 1 minus T by Tc the whole square. Again, we need to find the value for Tc, so we would be doing some algebraic expressions to get the normalized value. So it becomes Hc of T divided by Hc of 0, which is equal to 1 minus T by Tc, the whole square. Or I can say T by Tc, the whole square is nothing but as 1 minus Hc of T divided by Hc of 0. Now, let's plug in the value for Hc of t and Hc of 0 to get the value of t by Tc. So, t by Tc, the whole square becomes equal to 1 minus 1 into 10 raised to 5 because this is what the value for Hc of t is divided by 2 into 10 raised to 5. Now, it is very clear this gets cancelled with this and 1 upon 2 is nothing but as half. So, becomes t by Tc the whole square is equal to 1 minus 0 0.5 which again equals to 0 0.5. Now I can say that T by Tc is nothing but as root of 0 0.5 of course by taking square root on both the sides. I need to find the value for Tc. So I'll say T which is 8, 8 divided by root of 0 0.5 is nothing but as Tc on solving you will get the value of Tc as 11.3 Kelvin approximately and this is the answer that we are looking for. Thank you.